There's an astonishing amount of waste that comes in here every single day. This room over a year processes more than 300 thousand tons and you can see just down there one of the giant claws that they use to move it around to take it off to the incinerator when that comes out of the waste it'll be holding a ton of household garbage it's meant to have been pre-sorted but if you look around you can see bits of old clothing bits of food there's someone's bedside light down there but essentially what happens to all of this as it moves through the process is that this human waste the byproduct of human activity is turned into heat and electricity for Oslo all that waste is burnt in here the incinerator and if you take a look it's 850 degrees in there you'll see it still doesn't quite burn everything tin cans and metal mattress springs are left over and what you get at the end of this process is therefore a load of ash some metal which can be recycled and an awful lot of heat and remarkably, considering the size of this past plant, this relatively small turbine is literally what it all boils down to. Steam being passed through there creates electricity. And in here, these water pipes with superheated water heading off to 59,000 homes in Oslo year-round for heating purposes and also to the school system.